Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to the Airbrush Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to be talking about what a MAC valve is, M-A-C. What does that mean? How does it work? I'm going to demonstrate it and you be the judge if you need one or not. So with that, if you like this type of content, please stick around. Give me a thumbs up, good or bad, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Please consider subscribing, hit that bell so you get future notifications. Don't forget to check out all those Amazon affiliate links down below for all the products I use in this video and all my other videos. And with that, let's get started. All right, so before we get started, what is a MAC valve, M-A-C, micro air control? Basically what it's doing is giving you the ability or the control to control your air right here instead of going back to your compressor with your regulator. This comes in handy for when you want to do maybe some really fine lines and you want to get in really, really close to the surface. Because I usually spray at about 30 PSI, but if I want to go in and do some really detailed work and get really close, a lot of times I don't want to go back to my compressor, so I'm pretty good at what my control, but it does really help to be able to turn this down a little bit. And as long as your paint is thin enough to be able to say to turn it down to 15 or even 10 PSI, and I'm even going to show you if you stick around a little stippling trick that you can do with this mag valve. It also really comes in handy when you're away from your compressor, you know, like if you're spraying a vehicle or a motorcycle, I first started off with six foot hoses. I then went to 10 foot hoses. This way I can move around my shop a little bit better, you know, and if I'm on the other side of the bike or on the other side of the car, wherever it may be, I don't have to go back to my compressor to be able to adjust my air if I need to. If you're up really close to a surface, pumping out, you know, 10 or 15 PSI of air hitting that surface is going to be a lot, you know, less likely to blow your paint from your surface as 30 PSI would be. So that's the whole idea of having a micro air control right here at your fingertips. So let's head on over to the board and let's see how it works. First, I'm gonna show you full air open and have a listen. And we're gonna close the valve. All the way to nothing. So you literally can shut the air all the way off, which I don't know why you'd want to, but you can literally shut it all the way off. So this is really great, again, from taking it from like 30 PSI down to 10 or 15 PSI when you're really up tight and close on your surface. So let's start off with full pressure. Now, as you can see, I can get in really tight with 30 PSI, but if you look really close, you're going to see a lot of, or not a lot, but a little bit of overspray in there. And again, I'm moving really quick, but if I wanted to slow down and move, and get in really tight, sometimes it becomes a little difficult. Now, I'm on a piece of paper, which is a porous surface. If you're on a hard surface, this is going to be a lot more critical to be turning your air pressure down because it's not going to be absorbent or as, you know, porous where your paint's going to want to get pushed out and spread with the air, you know, at 30 PSI. So this is where you'd want to turn it down. Now, the only thing about this is, you know, you don't have your regulator to be looking at. So you kind of got to get used to it and listen to it and feel for it for about the air pressure that you want. Okay, so I'm going to take this down. If I'm at 30 PSI, I'm going to take it down to about half, down to about 15. Okay, so I'm probably somewhere between 10 and 15 there. Now, if I was going to get in really tight. And you can see, I got a little bit of blowback right there. So we can take it down a little bit more. Let's see if we can get some paint to still come out. It's probably around 10 PSI. Look at that fine detail. And I'm not getting any blowback on it either. And I'll take it really slow here once. Yeah, nice fine detail. 
So now that we've uh, checked out, you know, going down in a lower PSI and the detail you can get, to me, it prevents the blowback. Like I said, I can get really fine lines at 30 PSI, but you know, you really, really got to be good with your finger control. And this helps a lot, I think, you know, to prevent that from happening. So, you know, it's taken off some of that PSI where when you're up really close here, I mean, think about it, it's kind of common sense. If you're back here with 30 PSI, it's not so bad. But if you're bringing 30 PSI right up close to your, you know, whatever your surface, your substrate, you know, all that air is hitting that panel and dispersing. So the lower the PSI and that you can get that paint to come out. Now keep in mind, you're going to have to thin that paint out pretty good if you're going to be spraying it, you know, less than 10 or you know, 10, 15 PSI. So it's probably not going to be straight out of the bottle. That's for sure. All right. So I told you I'm going to show you a really cool stippling technique. So what you want to do is turn your air all the way down and then turn it up a little bit, just about maybe five PSI. Now, okay. Well, let's go even a little lower. A little lower. And you can barely hear it. Watch this. And all I'm doing is rocking that trigger back and forth. I mean, I got a probably about one or two PSI coming out of that gun. Isn't that cool? Now let's jack it up just a little bit more. Pull that trigger all the way back. Look at that. That's what I like the Mac valve for. I don't usually generally turn it down when I do my lines. I'm pretty good at doing my lines, you know, just with my uh, finger and trigger control. But again, if I'm on a hard surface like this, I will turn that down when I'm doing really fine work. I do like it for that. And the stippling techniques are really cool, especially for doing backgrounds. Well, there you have it. A Mac valve, micro air control. Do you need one? You be the judge. I like to have one as a part of my airbrush arsenal over here. I have what, like four or five, five airbrushes now. And uh, it's nice to have it just on one at least. I mean, somebody might like it on all of them, but I like to have it just on one where I want to use that certain technique. I can go to that gun and I can get it done. So with that, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, Again, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell so you get future notifications. Thumbs up would be great. A couple comments, good or bad. You know the drill helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Help build this channel. I'll put all of these products down in my Amazon links below for all the products I use in this video. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.